Hello everybody, Astro Gravitational Report for the 9th of July. Pretty good, pretty good energies. Uh, if you're following the energies, if you're following the actions and the energies there, there, I hope you did. I hope you reacting on those energies. Uh, you will pay attention that in the morning the intensity is going to be increased. Uh, and talking about the intensity is going to be increased because the moon is moving into areas, action, action time, situations times and so on but uh, the moon during the transitions with the areas she's going to be square at the sun that is the intuition that's going to be facing the authority uh looking at on this picture though the sun is in sextile with uranus and uranus is in trine with neptune with pluto i'm sorry and uh, that uh, spirituality part Pluto uh, is just like giving you all these energies and putting into Mars and Venus and at the same time Neptune is doing the same thing all this it is about the divine masculine energies if you take the authority over this and you listen to what the universe has for you you're gonna find out that you looking at that this intuition just had a hard time of the new beginning because the cycle of the moon moves from Pisces into Aries. That's a new beginning, new energies, new emotions, new intuitions, new things, beginning of the cycle of life of the moon. Okay, I'm not talking about the beginning of the new moon versus full moon. I'm talking about the astrology begins at zero degrees of Aries and ends up at 29 degrees 59 minutes at Pisces, that's it. When the planet goes around and they begin their own personal cycle, so it's going to be a very good uh, energy with the moon. Begins that uh, new beginning. Congratulations of the new beginners. Uh, in there, it's not only us uh, talking about uh, for it, but uh, come live tomorrow and watch us at uh, the main channel. Uh, me and uh, Paulina, we are going to be giving you some uh, questions and answers that some of them they're gonna be advanced uh, for whatever your situations is and uh, we're here to help you so talking about this uh, the old uh, go back into the astrology report at seven o'clock in the morning mid heaven is gonna be with Chiron it is about healing the divine energies you're gonna feel this beauty of the divine healing energies of the feminine beautiful they're beautiful they are just beautiful at the same time mars it is a beautiful trine with the north node so mars is already pretty much ready to shifting into virgo beginning the healing missions as a warrior as a spirituality and so on uh, but if you have issues with Mars inside of you, you haven't learned things, you haven't learned situations, you're opposing the universe, uh, things not going, things not working, things are not the way you want it. But if you flow with the divine energies, everything is going to be transformed. Who is transforming? You. So this is going to be this uh, challenges that uh, is going to be today. That is going to be the intuitions and authority. Uh, at some point, uh, um, that's going to be <clears throat> very much uh, feel inside uh, of this is going to be uh, the triggers are you really depending on the divine energies that's going to be at uh, mid heaven when it's going to be at 9 o'clock in the morning mid heaven is at 20 degrees of uh, Taurus uh, and it's going to be adding to this additional uh, squaring towards uh, Venus and Mars and ascendant at the same time but the moon doesn't have any other aspect except the square with the sun uh, this cardinal things it's like I am I am I am if you have a people who comes to you with I am I am I am too much ego in there too much personality inside of it it is all about we and because the sun is where in the family what is in the family more than one person we and this is going to be a some of the lessons for some people they have to learn how to cooperate in there uh, talking about later on uh, the energies is going to be uh, 
changing is going to be shifting um, about 11 o'clock the things is going to be calmed down because the mid cavern is not going to have an aspect uh, for a little while uh, there because of uh, there is nothing going on uh, within the friendshipness you may lose your friendshipness but you got to look at it inside of you that friendshipness where is that goal it has to go in the next zodiac sign which is what it is cancer in the family um the next hour which is mid heaven it's going to be crossing into uh, aquarius it's going to be at the three degrees ascendant is walking within the two degrees of uh of uh, Libra, there is going to be divine energies with the North Node. Uh, you're reaching to this point, you're reaching to these energies inside of you. Uh, the rising energies, the ascendant is sextiling uh, Mercury with uh, uh, Lilith uh, in there. That is going to be very good time for expressing your secret desire, uh, expressing of the things behind the veil, expressing the things you always fear and get your fears out this is going to be a pretty good uh, time because mercury and Lilith are together at cancer and uh, talking about the ascendant is also it's going to be training pluto this is going to adding to additional transformations push in there you're going to be working with those energies later on because they're just rising you see them on the horizon but when it comes in right on top of you whether that mid heaven it's going to be you gonna be work with those energies one o'clock is gonna be interesting because this is gonna be the rising challenge of authority what are you going to do as an authority are you gonna be listening to the universe and following that transformations continue to following everything that you have of the visions the divine visions within everything new beginning it's hard but don't make it even harder when you put your authority there it's not going to help in there the push the pressure and the energies they're not going to help anybody so uh, don't use your authority over anyone but look at the authority with you. you put the universe to help you because right now uranus is uh, in a very beautiful energies with mercury divine communications could be there uh, mercury it is still training uh, Neptune. Neptune is divine energies with both Mars and Venus right now. So as you see it, uh, the communications, the part of the communications with the universe, they're going to be on. They're going to be for you guys, you two, uh, getting all this better because there is no I in the family. And that's what the moon will actually push this trigger so uh later on uh the mid heaven is going to be walking in the first degree of uh leo the ascendant is going to be at the 26 degrees of uh, of libra that is going to be adding additional divine energies towards neptune a beautiful beautiful uh time for a balance but people who cause now have the balance inside of them this is going to be a squaring with pluto you're denying these transformations of the day you're denying what you hear you don't like what you hear you want your desires to manifest well they not manifest because they're not supported by the universe you are fighting the universe mars and venus are squaring uranus there you go your masculine and feminine energies they are in fight with you instead if you are listening to the divine energies, the divine energies that goes through Pluto, from Pluto they go to Neptune as well, and from Pluto they are going towards Uranus. So the big planets, the big boys, they are in charge. You think that you are in charge of certain things. Well, the destiny is in charge. So uh, later on at uh, 4 o'clock, this is going to be a very interesting energy because of... Uh, mid heaven it's at one degrees of uh, virgo that is a kind of like a preview for mars about this healing energies they're gonna continue these divine energies between pluto and uh, neptune they're both retrograde this is a divine energies when the planets in the retrograde mode they are talking about increasing your power within your soul okay pluto in a bad way he is the one who is just push it in the underworld it says like you know what you didn't listen to things here's how you learn it 
you don't learn in the good way, you learn it in the bad way. But he is teaching you in a very specific while Neptune there is in retrograde, he gives you the visions that you missed, m visions that you did not saw before, things that you never look in there. That is a the time when uh, you should look in inside of yourself. That's your time where you miss the visions of what was really going on, because your reali reality within the reality that is actually is out there could have been two different versions within you. The one works with an awareness, the other is with the sub-awareness inside of you. That is when you are so much find mindful within yourself. So sometimes Neptune could be a very deceiving one does. But currently at this divine energies, the way he is, he doesn't have negative aspects. He is there to give you the proper visions within yourself. As long you're not using your internal warrior to worry about things. Uh, later on at 5 o'clock, uh, Midheaven goes into Virgo at uh, 17 degrees, divine energies with the moon. Basically, that's what is going to be the time when uh, the moon and Chiron come in together. This is when uh, you're going to have to work on yourself to heal your intuition. It's like, hey, calm down. You don't have to overreact. You don't have to express your authority. You don't have to all do this. We are working together within the feminine energies because Chiron, it is a beautiful uh, uh, trines uh, right there with the uh, Venus and uh, looking at them, those energies, the moon adding all that is going to be a beauty, beauty, specifically between 5 and 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, so at uh, uh, later on at 7 o'clock is going to be a lot of playing of the divine energies. The rising energies, which is uh, they're gonna be at Sagittarius, mid heaven, it is at 20 degrees of Libra, divine energies towards Uranus. Uh, as you see it, you get in a help, we are getting a help, whatever the thing it is, you leave it in the hands of the divine, the things are gonna be coming towards you as long as you're not uh, having an internal fight within yourself. And those internal fights I'm going to be talking about later on uh, for it. It is about uh, learning inside of yourself about your um, sub-cells inside of you. That is a one of the time when your intuition turns into a divine intuition. And working with the sub-awareness within yourself, you dig in within your subconscious that becomes consciousness. Very powerful stuff. And if you take those vibrations of the new energies that are coming in, uh, for you're going to be opening up things inside of you that you already knew. All you have to do is accepting them as the way they are. So at uh, 8 o'clock, uh, Midheaven is at uh, 6 uh, degrees of Scorpio. There's going to be a purging time. You have to make a free space of the new things that comes in within you. Uh, it's going to be working with Pluto because Pluto says like, how are you going to transform when your cup is full? You need to empty out uh, some of the stuff. You need to empty out some of the stuff of your subconscious. You need to get rid of, of some of the, the stuff you're carrying too much for you. You have to go light with the light. Okay, travel light with the speed of light. Okay, that's how I will uh, interpret uh, these energies. Midheaven is a trance with Saturn. Okay, so you see what you learn, but if you as a masculine or feminine energy is in there, you're opposing what you learn. The Saturn is going to be like, hmm, I'm going to send you the previous grade, you're missing learning. And some of you is going to feel like that energy, but if you are moving forward, you know what is going on. But if you fight with the energies, you're going to be sent back. You have to relearn things, you have to repeat cycle, you have to repeat things, you have to repeat lessons there. So uh, later on at 9 o'clock that energy is going to be increased, but so is the divine energies. Mid heaven it's a 21 degrees of Scorpio, that is a beautiful trines with uh, Mercury and uh, a little bit, that is a, when you are expressing what happens deep within you, what is going on, the things, I mean, talking about confession time to your own self, 
you to confess from within yourself or confessing to people or confessing to situations however your case might be okay beautiful emotional time very beautiful emotional time but if you have the fights uh, in there mars is squaring the mid heaven and the mid heaven is opposing uranus and mars and venus as you guys know it is also squaring uranus you fight in the universe but the universe is first of all your own universe with the universe out there are they in the same page if they're not in the same page then you have a universe you shoot in yourself your own universe is controlled with something that it's actually doesn't perform out there in the world you guys know what i'm talking about uh the ascendant actually with uh, pluto the ascendant is at 27 degrees those are the rising energies uh, there um they're boosting uh, these divine energies towards uh, mars and venus it's just like stay in a course stay in the right thing you're in the right path i know it's intense i know it's a lot of things but stay in a course um mercury sense it begins to move forward he's also opposing pluto so be mindful about communications how you communicate with people if somebody comes in when i did an internal war with them wish them love and says like you know what i wish you good love thank you for coming thank you for talking um i don't have a comment right now just leave an empty blanks page so the person can feel inside of them that it's like what did i did let them think about it you cannot solve their internal battles within them they bring it towards you that's it simple as that okay use that it's going to help you a lot at uh, 10 o'clock uh, mid cavern is going to be at five degrees of uh, sag that's going to be squaring uh, saturn and mars at these positions uh, some of you is going to feel like oh i'm restricted i can't say this i can't do that I want to go ahead I want to move testing your patience you're gonna learn uh, you probably already learn if you're in the, the right uh, energies you already learn to have patience no matter what it doesn't matter how much you boiled okay it's like it doesn't worth it to be boiled it doesn't help me it doesn't help the person to be boiled let me just follow my divine path test time it is but the mid heaven is a beautiful trine with mercury and the beautiful trines with neptune visions and communications they are going to be working together as i said neptune is going to give you the light the shining light within and uh, at 11 o'clock mid heaven is at 19 degrees of sag the divine energies between uranus and sun are going to be active at this time you did the proper situations within the authority you did the proper things from within you there is no more beautiful things you did today as the intuitions if you learn you're not fine but you just back it off then what happened is is uh, the moon right now is together with chiron there is a divine energy stored uh, um venus and mars uh, in there uh, together with that inner work with the mid heaven it's beautiful beautiful healing energy ascendant is together with saturn uh pretty much uh, close that is a sextiling uh, uh uranus at this point so everything works for you the universe is helping you you learned your lessons you practicing your lessons you unite your feminine your, your masculine energies and helps you to unite with the person with the, the energies that are available right now and from that point things are beginning to feel but they happen naturally okay you have to understand this let the things flow naturally and they will because the internal peace from within you is matching the eternal peace the universe brings to us and from that point we all working and walking together so uh that's what i'm leaving you guys thank you so much for watching the astro gravitational report hopefully this report is helping you in your life and i will see you tomorrow you guys be love and be peace and keep on going